my name is Lori Boxer. I'm the director of Wait No More Diet Center. We're here today in the Oakhurst, New Jersey office, and I want to walk you through something that we, all my counselors and I, do with every new client that comes to the office for the consultation. First thing we want to do is explain to them what gaining weight really means. I want you to pretend that these little tiny dots are your fat cells. Fat cells are formed in the human body only two times in your whole life. Your first set of fat cells are formed in your mother's last trimester of pregnancy. Your second set of fat cells are formed leading up to puberty. By the time a boy and a girl have reached puberty, they have all the fat cells they're ever going to have throughout their entire life. We're going to section this off here. You'll have between 30 and 40 billion cells by the time you reach puberty. Now, I want you to pretend that this line is your skeleton, okay? This is your bone structure. Your first layer of fat on top of your skeleton, the very, very first layer of fat on top of your skeleton is right here. We're just gonna put SC right under your first layer of skin. This is called subcutaneous fat because it's sitting under the skin. This is the important fat of the body that the human body needs because this is what is protecting the vital organs of your body. Now, for every five pounds that a person is over, a healthy weight for their age, their height, uh, any medical issues they may have, sometimes physical and emotional issues as well, for every five pounds over, we add another layer of stored fat. We're gonna pretend that we're dealing with somebody right now who's 50 pounds overweight. That's the average, unfortunately, okay? This is, for every five pounds overweight, we add another layer of stored fat. This, for argument's sake, is a person who's 50 pounds overweight. Now, if fat only grew from the chest, from the bones out, and this was a human being, well, this person would be tipping over. What's keeping them upright is the fat that you don't see. And that's on this side. Fat cells grow like this, okay? This is called visceral fat. This is the fat that is deep within the abdomen surrounding all the vital organs of your body. Now I want you to see, this is just five pounds of fat. This, this ugly mass, this is the real deal. This is just five pounds of fat. I want you to picture, if you're just 50 pounds over, you're in your kitchen, you've got this big pasta pot on the stove, there's nothing in it. In the bottom of the pot, you're throwing your heart, your kidney, your liver, your pancreas, your ovaries, all the vital organs of your body are right in the bottom of the pasta pot. And then on top of that are 50 pounds of this. All the vital organs of your body are sitting in and marinating 24-7 in 50 pounds of this. That is what is going on over here. This is your visceral fat. Now, I want you to pretend that this little Pac-Man-like figure is your metabolism. The metabolism is the speed by which your body burns to give you the energy you need. I mean, that's pretty standard. Now. The thicker the wall of fat on top of someone's skeleton, well, the more, the more strength that metabolism needs to cut through this. Where does your metabolism get the strength that it needs? From one place only. And that is the food that you drop down into your stomach every day. There's no magic about this. Food and water working together is what causes the correct chemical reaction in your body to get your metabolism to respond to what you eat. Now, this is where we come in. When you eat the right amount of food and the right amount of water, it forces the, the metabolism to burn this off first. That's how it gets the strength that it needs to then start moving forward slowly to burn through or, quote, feed off of one layer of your stored fat at a time. So picture week after week, month after month, you're eating correctly, your body is burning off what it needs and it's moving forward. And then a few hours later, you're eating again and your body is moving forward. This is a cycle where every few hours, your metabolism always has what it needs, it's always burning what you're eating, and it's always moving forward. So, watch my hand. 
you're getting as more and more of these layers come off and you're getting closer and closer to your skeleton the less stored fat you have the faster and faster your metabolism is going because there's less stored fat to burn now let's just say we tell you you need this much food and you decide you're going to eat less okay you're going to under eat whether it's by accident or on purpose because maybe you think if you eat less that week you'll lose more weight the opposite is what's going to happen your body knows that it needs this. If you give your body less than it needs, your body is gonna go into starvation mode from top to bottom. Your metabolism is going to try to do more with less fuel for as long as it can so that you don't pass out at the wheel of your car or get faint on the bicycle in your spin class. So when you eat less, your metabolism in fact slows down to protect you. You will not have weight loss that way. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two, I already told you. You had a perfect day, you ate everything you were supposed to, your body burns this off, and then it moves forward. Last scenario, you did have a perfect day. You ate everything you were supposed to eat, and somewhere along the way, you had something extra. Good or bad, it makes no difference. It could be 200 calories extra of a piece of baked tilapia and, and, and steamed broccoli, or it could be 200 calories extra of cotton candy. It makes no difference to the human body your metabolism will burn off only what it needs. The rest of this is stored as fat. Again, my last scenario, you've had a perfect day, you ate everything you were supposed to eat, but somewhere along the way, it doesn't matter what time of the day it was, you had something extra. Whether it's 200 calories extra of a piece of baked fish and steamed vegetables, or 200 calories extra of potato chips, it makes no difference to the body. Your metabolism will burn off only what it needs, and the rest of this is stored as visceral fat, okay? Again, it doesn't matter what overage it is, good calories or bad calories, you eat more, it's stored as fat. Where does it get stored? Ah, we're back now to the, skinny, to the fat cells, skinny cells, because these microscopic cells start to expand just like this, in the bill, you have to picture this going on in the billions, okay? And this is the biological definition of those two words we all know and love called gaining weight. Gaining weight means literally billions of microscopic fat cells slowly starting to expand from within with all the calories that you don't burn off in a day. That is what gaining weight means. Losing weight, then, is if this is a person who has 50 pounds to lose, just pretend that my hand is a fat cell. Losing weight means removing the fat from the cell to shrink it down. It never means removing these from your body, they're with you to the end of time. The reason why so many people who go on diets gain all their weight back is because if you have 50 pounds to lose, and you lose 35 pounds, you're gonna look great. There's no question about that. But it's not the 35 pounds that you've lost that guarantees you're going to stay slim. It's the 15 pounds that you still have to lose that guarantees you're gonna gain every pound back and more because you'll go back to old eating habits unless you get to where you need to be, unless you go through a stabilization, a disciplined and guided stabilization program that shows you how to eat more, how to throw the junk food in. If you don't do that and you still have 15 pounds to lose, fat cells get fatter, faster, and on less food than skinny cells do. And that's why people who are skinny can eat so much more food before they start gaining weight than someone who is overweight. This is the biological definition of those two words, gaining weight.